Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Visuino instruments. This is very useful when we only have a sensor and no display to see the values. Or if we just need to perform some calculations or experiments and need to see the values. I am going to use a simple temperature and humidity sensor DHT11 connected to Arduino board. You can see the wiring here. The signal pin from the sensor is connected to Arduino board digital pin 2. In Visuino at DHT11 temperature and humidity sensor component. If you have any other sensor you can freely use it. We are going to connect pin sensor to Arduino board digital pin 2. To first test the sensor we are going to connect pin temperature to Arduino board serial pin and upload the code to Arduino board. As you can see we are getting values from the sensor. Now let me show you how to use the instruments. Add packet component. First I'm going to disconnect the temperature sensor so that we are back on the beginning. Now this is very important. We need to set the head marker. To do that select packet component and in the properties window select head marker and click on the bytes three dots button and in the bytes window add some random bytes in my case i will add 55 and 55 uh, we need to set this because uh, if we don't do this we can get some random data that will not be correct i'm going to double click on the packet one and in the elements window I'm going to drag analog element to the left side. I'm going to use this element for the temperature. And in the properties window under instrument I'm going to choose the thermometer. As you can see there are several options such as gauge, uh, segment gauge and linear gauge. Now I'm going to set the maximum for the temperature and minimum. So this will be 35 and for the minimum minus 10. Now let's drag another analog element and I will also choose the thermometer under the instrument and since this will be for the humidity I will add maximum 100 and minimum I will leave it to zero. Now let's connect temperature pin to analog 1 and humidity pin to analog 2 pin in. As you can now see under the serial tab we only have terminal tab and the scope tab but once we connect packet 1 pin out to Arduino board serial pin instruments tab will appear. As you can now see we have two thermometers one is for the temperature and one is for the humidity. First one as you can see is from minus 10 to 35 and the other one is from 0 to 100. Now I'm going to upload the code and we are going to see the values appear in the instruments. Now let's change the instruments. I'm going to use the angular gauge and for the other analog value I'm going to use linear gauge. With each change I also have to set the max and min again. And as you can see we now have different instruments. Now let's upload the project and we should see the values.
Now let's do another project with a connected button and we are going to see when the button is pressed. I'm going to connect the button to Arduino board digital pin 2. First I'm going to delete the humidity temperature sensor and remove the analog elements from the packet component. Now let's add digital element and close the elements window and add debounce button component. Now I need to connect button 1 pin out to packet 1 digital 1 pin in and connect Arduino board digital pin 2 to button 1 pin in. As you can see we have an LED under the instruments tab and after the uploading the code we should see it glow every time I press the button. If you don't have a button you can simply add a pulse generator and connect it to the digital one pin in and you should see the same result. For the final experiment we are going to use the random integer generator component to generate the integer values and display these values on the segment gauge instrument. To make it more simple I'm going to use minimum 0 and maximum 1000. Now let's connect pulse generator to the random integer generator. In the elements window we are going to remove digital element and add integer element. Under the instrument I am going to choose segment gauge. And close the elements window. I also need to connect random integer generator component to the packet integer 1 pin in and after the uploading the project you can now see that we are getting random integer values. This instrument is also good if you need to count something like with a counter component or when you need to set some values. This will be all on how to use the instruments in Visuino. As you can see it's very easy as it allows you to see the values without any external displays and so on. So thank you for watching this tutorial and I wish you a lot of great projects.